Oh, you're so wrong, I ain't laughing. Any guy with eyes to read knows it. Look at the, uh, the textile strike. Yeah. Out like lions and in like lambs. Or take the uh, San Francisco tie-up, right. starvation, broken heads. The Steel Boys wanted to walk out too, but they changed their minds. It's a trend of the times. That's what it is, boys. Look, all we workers, we got a good man behind us now. Who? He's the top man in the country. He's looking out for our interests. Man in the White House, the one that I'm referring to. That's why the times ain't ripe for a strike. Because he's working day and night uh -huh. for you. The record's proven. Look, if this was the Hoover regime, would I say, don't go out, boys? Not on your tin type. But things is different now. You read the papers, you know as well as me. That's why I'm against the strike. Because we got to stand behind the man who's standing behind us. The whole country. It's on the blink. Hey, stand up and show yourself, you damn red. Be a man. Now let's see what you look like. Yellow from the word go. Red and yellow makes a dirty color, boys. What'll they do for you, huh? What'll they do for you? They'll pull you out and then run away when trouble starts, huh? Give those birds a chance. They'll have your sisters and wives in the whorehouses. Oh, they'll tear you oh, them into oh, a crazy. bleeding cross. Oh. They'll wreck your homes. They'll throw your babies <laughs> in the river. You think that's bunk? Read the papers. All right, look, I gave you boys the facts in the case. We can't stay here all night. We've got hot suppers to go home. Yeah, says you. Sit down, punk. Where's Lefty? Yeah, where is yeah, 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 that's what I want to know. Where's your old pal Lefty? You elected him chairman. Where the hell did he disappear? Sid, where is Lefty? Lefty. 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 Hey, 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 what is this, a circus? The boys got the committee here. It's a bunch of cowboys you elected. You got, um... Uh, Benjamin? Yeah, Benjamin. Uh, Miller, Stein, yeah. Yeah. Mitchell, Phillips, All right, let's hear from the Kelly. Committee, then. Uh, it ain't my fault Lefty took a run out of powder. Come on, guy. let's hear it from the committee. What's the committee say? That's right, Joe. Let's hear you speak, Joe. Yeah. All right, all right, let him speak. Let him speak. Let's see what they're asking. Now, you guys know me. I ain't a red boy one bit. Here I'm carrying a shrapnel that big that I picked up in the war. And maybe I don't know it if it rains, but don't tell me red. You know what we are? We're the black and blue boys. Yeah, that's right. And we've been kicked around so much that we're black and blue from head to toes. And I guess anybody who says they don't like it straight out or is a red boy is the leader of the union. And what's this about hot suppers? Hey, is, I'm asking you to your face. How many of you has hot suppers to go home to tonight? I mean, raise your hand if you know where your next meal's coming from. A certain gent behind me can raise both hands. Yeah. <laughs> but not up front here. And that is why we are talking about walking out to earn a living wage. I, I honest to God don't know. But he didn't take no run out powder. That wop's got more guts than a slaughterhouse. I mean, maybe traffic got him, but he'll be here. And don't let this red talk scare you, unless you're scared of fighting for a living. I mean, we gotta make up our minds. My wife made up my mind last week, if you want the truth. Yeah? Yeah. It's as plain as the nose on Sol Feinberg's face yeah, that we need a strike. I mean, here's us coming home every night, eight to ten hours on a cab. My God, my wife says to me, 80 cents ain't money. Don't buy beans almost. You're working for the company, she says to me. Joe, you ain't working for me or the family no more. She says to me, if you don't start, They took it away. No installments paid. When? Three o'clock. I can't do that. Can't? They did it. The Palookas, we paid three quarters. The man said, read the contract. You must have signed a phony. It was a regular contract. And you signed it. Don't be so sour, Edna. Do it in the movies, Joe. They paid Clark Gable big money for it. You know, this is a hell of a house to come home to. Take my Take word. Take my word. Whose fault is it? Must you start that stuff again? Maybe you want to talk about books. I'd like to slap you in the mouth. No, you won't. Gee, 
cookies, Edna. You get me sore sometimes. But just look at me. I'm laughing all over. Don't insult me. Can I help it if times are bad? What do you want me to do? Shh. Jump off a bridge or something? I just put the kids to bed so they won't know that they've missed a meal. What if I don't have any shoes sold by tomorrow? She can't go to school. In the meantime, let her sleep. I rode the wheels off the chariot today. I cruised around for five hours without a call. It's conditions. Tell it to the a &P. I booked 220 on the clock today. The lady with the dog was lit. She gave me a quarter tip by mistake. If you'd only listen to me, you were rolling and well. Yeah, how much? I had a coffee and, mm. and a beanery. Buck four. The second month's rent is due tomorrow. Don't look at me that way, Edna. I'm looking for through you, not at you. Everything was gonna be ducky. Cottage by the waterfall. Roses in Picardy. And a four-star bust. If you think I'm standing for it much longer, you're as crazy as a bed bug. I'd get another job if I could. There's no work. You know that. I only know we're at the bottom of the ocean. What can I do? Who's the man in the family? You or me? Come on, that's no answer. Get down to brass tasks. Christ, cut me a break, too. A coffee and a job all day, I'm hungry, too, babe. I'd work my oh, fingers to the oh, Not now! Tell me what to do! I'm not God, Joe. I wish I was a kid again and I didn't have to think about the next minute. But you're not a kid. You do have to think about the next minute. That two blondie kids sleeping in the next room. They need food and clothes. I'm not mentioning anything else. We're stumbled like a fliver in the snow. Five years of, I laid awake at night and listened to my heart pound. For God's sake, Joe. Do something, get wise. Maybe get your buddies together. Maybe go on strike for better money. Papa did it during the war and they went out. Oh, I'm turning into a several dad. Strikes don't work. Who told you? Besides, that means not a nickel a week while you're out, and when it's over, they don't take you back. Suppose they don't. What's to lose? We're averaging six, seven dollars a week now. It just pays for the rent. That is something, Edna. It is. Push you down to three or four a week before you know it, and then you'll say that's something too. There's too many cabs on the street. That's the whole damn. Let the company worry about that, you big fool. If their cabs didn't make a profit, they would take them off the street. Or maybe you think they're in the business of paying Joe Mitchell's rent? You don't know ABC yet. Now. I know this. Your boss is making suckers out of you boys, and suckers out of all the wives and kids who are going to grow up with crooked spines and sick bones. Sure, I see them at paper. Oh, good orange juices for kids. Damn it, our kids get cold one on top of the other. They look like little ghosts. And he's never even seen a grapefruit. I took her to the store last week. She pointed to a stack of grapefruits and she said, What's that? My God, Joe, the world is supposed to be for all of us. She wake them up. I don't care. As long as I can wake you up. Don't insult me. One man can't make a strike. Who says one? You got hundreds in your rotten union. The union ain't rotten. <laughs> oh no? Then what are they doing? Collecting dues and patting your back? They're making plans. What kind? They don't tell us. <laughs> well, that's just too damn bad about you. They don't tell little Joey what's happening in his bitsy union. What do you think it is? A ping pong game? You know they're all racketeers. The guys at the top would shoot you for a nickel. Why do you stand for that stuff? Don't you want to see me alive? No. I don't think I do, Joe. Not if you can lift a finger to do something about it and don't. No, I don't, Harry. You don't and any other hacky that won't fight, let them all be grinding. It's one thing Take your hands away. Only they don't grind me to little pieces. I got different plans. Where are you going? None of your business. What's up your sleeve? My arm be up my sleeve, darling. If I had a sleeve, tell me. Tell you what? Where are you going? Don't you remember my old boyfriend? Who? 
Bud Haas. Still has my picture in his watch. He earns a living. What the hell are you talking about? I heard worse than what I'm talking about. Have you seen Bud since we've been married? Maybe. If I saw it. See much? Listen, boyfriend, if you think I won't do this, it just means you can't see straight. Stop talking, bull! This isn't five years ago, Joe. You mean you leave the kids in me? I'd leave you like a shot. No. Yes. She would. I've seen it before. Guess I ain't got a leg to stand on there. No? No. You lousy tart! No! Now get the hell out of here! Why don't you go pick up that bull throw on the corner and go to some cushy hotel downtown? Christ has probably been in here laying you every morning while I've been hacking my guts out! Crawling like a worm! You'll be crawling in a minute. Oh, you don't scare me that much! That is what I slave for! Tell it to your boss! He don't give a damn about you or me! That's what I say! Don't change the subject! This is the subject! The exact subject. Your boss makes this the subject. I've never met him in my life, but he's putting ideas in my head a mile a minute. He's giving your kids that fancy disease called the rickets. He's making a jellyfish out of you and putting wrinkles in my face. This is the subject every inch of the way. He's throwing me into Bud Haas' lap. When in the hell will you get wise? I'm not so dumb as you think you were talking about red. I don't know what that means. But when a man knocks you down, you get up and kiss his fist, you gutless piece one of money. One man can't make a shot. I don't say one man. I say a hundred, a thousand, a whole million, I say. Start in your own union. Get those hack boys together. Sweep out those racketeers like a pile of dirt. And stand up like men and fight for the kids and wives. God damn it. I'm tired of slavery and sleepless nights. Sure. Sure. The brass toes on your shoes and nowhere to kick! Listen, Edna. I'm gonna go down to 174th Street to look up Lefty Costello. Lefty was saying the other day. What about this Haas guy? <laughs> now get out of here! I'll be back. Yeah, now Joe. you guys know more about this stuff than me. This is why we gotta walk out. That's right. That's right. <laughs>